looking into the future, the dream I have is taking Circa global. I want to build an internationally renowned brand that is known, you know, for efficiency, for service, for the experience, and at some point, sell. Hi, my name is Olabi Akanimodo. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I am a founder at Circa Lagos, the borough Lagos. Um, I'm a number of other businesses. I've always loved hosting people. I've always loved entertaining when I get the chance to. Waiting on people for me has been an excellent opportunity. Firstly, it's been a wonderful experience in the sense that I've had to meet all types of people. I've had to deal with different types of situations. It's been almost like a form of therapy for me. What might be ideal to me, for me, in terms of a restaurant place, I like it clean. I like it to be personified in the sense that you have to see your personality in your own space. You know, everybody has what they like. I like, I like it cozy. I like people to be, to feel like, you know what, like it's their space. You know, you want to create a happy space. And for me, those are, yeah, just the basics. I mean, this is me. I, I just like it. I like it clean. First of all, it has to be about the people. In terms of values, I like, I like to say efficiency, um, focusing on the intangibles, because, I mean, you're not going to open your restaurant for yourself. There's people to come in and have a good time. I mean, most restaurants, whether you like it or not, the food, because they set out to seven out of 10, the food is always nice. But the restaurants you remember most or the places that you have the best experiences with are the places where you're treated perfectly or how you're treated. So for me, it's the intangibles. I mean, I might come up with a list and tell you this and that, but at the end of the day, just make your customers or your clients happy. The first thing I saw that made it a possibility for me and why I wanted to do this thing was service. Do you know, I went everywhere. I mean, growing up, you think about all the good restaurants, I think the only person I can give credits to back then was Robert's Cafe, Dr. Roberts, that, you know, was very, very impressionable in the sense of commitment in terms of service to clients. You know, you go to restaurants and you see the owners or you see the staff, everybody's not focused. Going back to when you were younger, you probably went to a buka and there's this notion that if the woman or the owner or the person isn't nasty, the food isn't good. You know, you see people with different forms of attitude. And for me, it was just something that I wanted to, for me, it was service. You know, I just wanted people to really know that, look, it's about you. It's about the customers. It's, 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 it's not about the fancy aesthetics or, you know, preparing the food and plating it in a particular way. It's really about the people that come. Boxing, boxing is spiritual. Let me first of all put it that way. I think my first experience with boxing was when I was a kid. My dad used to be a regional boxer. He spoke glowingly about it. Like I would hear stories about people saying, you know what, they didn't want to even take my dad on because he could fight. And he would show me, he showed me the stance when I was younger. I tried to do it a bit, but hey, it didn't work. My first love was football. I love football deeply. I love watching it. I love playing and also video games. When COVID came, I didn't know what to do. Found a coach, started boxing. I think I must have done about eight months with him. And then I got introduced to another coach. He's Cuba, by the way. Very pleasant man, has the most genuine smile ever got loads of degrees and he just took me back to the basic and I started and I just found out that I could do this thing. It was very challenging initially, but then I just started enjoying it. Then it was something I started, it, it just used to, I look forward to it. Regardless of what I did the day before, I just, I just picked it up. Then in the process, I met a lot of young boxers that he had been mentoring for a while, training since they were like 10. And I just saw the gap and I saw how much I mean, the system literally gave them no chance. So I just decided, you know what, as I do this, I will embrace them more like I adopt them and just try to help them as much as possible, achieve their own dreams, you know, come and train with me, buy equipment, we work together. There's obviously the age gap, they're faster, 
a sharper, but I challenge myself with them. And you know, I, I, it's something I've now come to embrace and enjoy. And shout out to my coach, Luis Enrique Mena, amazing man. I want to believe I'm a service leader. I'm very non-conformist, you know. Um, it's almost like madness till you understand it. There's a method to the madness. But I think most importantly, what I would term as success or successful is when I can look back and say, you know what, those are my people. And this is who they are. You know, it's almost like I'm an alumni of my own teachings, my own preachings, you know, the things that I've done day to day and they've added theirs to it and I can see them all doing well. So yeah, success can be termed as one thing. It's a lot of things. I mean, success for me is seeing my children happy, seeing them do well, seeing them respect people, seeing them treat people the same way, regardless of class, race or station, you know, so many things, yeah.